Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella, and in today's video we are going to continue the winter decorating, this time heading into my living room space. It's always very weird after Christmas. I am a very full maximal decorator when it comes to my Christmas decor and when the trees come down and the garlands mainly stay up there's just some gaps all throughout and it looks so empty and I like to incorporate my garland. I like to keep some evergreens out for my winter styling and just make sure I'm keeping those cozy warm touches just to help ease the transition before we get into early spring decorating. So I did already do my entryway styling. You can actually see it in the background right here. I will have that video linked down below in case you guys missed it. I'm going to be continuing going through my whole home. So if you are not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and let's head into my living room. Transitioning into my winter decorating, I love to keep my faux fur throw blankets out. They are such a perfect textural element and are so cozy and soft and everybody's favorites to cuddle up into after a long day. This one was new from Studio McGee this year. I love the cream color tone to it. I also am using those brown velvet pillow covers I had gotten from Amazon back in the fall, as well as this printed pillow that I DIY'd last year, but I will have some similar ones linked in the video description. For the side table, I'm adding one of the Pottery Barn iron trees I picked up. And on the top of it, adding a linen book box as well as a pine cone candle. And on the other side, I'm adding my darker faux fur throw blanket to bring some warmth into the space. And for pillows, I had picked these up from Target three, maybe four years ago now. They are a chambray, like linen and velvet reversible one, which is so cool to bring in a different texture without having to do too much. So I have loved these so much. I will continue to use them. And the final touch will be adding this snowflake pillow. On this side table, we're gonna be adding one of the LED tree candles, as well as the iron smaller reindeer from Pottery Barn and one of the older anthropology house candles. I'll be adding the same pillows that I did on the larger couch to the smaller one. And in addition, I have one of the boucle throw blankets that matches the two-tone pillows. So I'm going to add this wooden jug to the accent table to add in some warmth and texture. And I did end up leaving this little four foot tree that I got from Walmart after Christmas with the trees down, everything's so bare. So I like to keep out a couple of accent trees for winter. Now we're gonna add a couple of these juniper stems to tie in our entryway arrangement and the pine cone candle. So for our arrangement, I have these pine bushes. These were older from House and Home. I will have something similar linked in the description, but I just have them twisted around and I'm going to just lay them in a circle as so. I'll pull up a branch or two from each bush. And I love to incorporate pine cones in my winter decorating. So we're gonna add a few pine cones in here. Again, pulling some of these. I'm not looking to pull the whole thing, but just so it has a little bit more of an even coverage happening in here. So we have our pine cones. And 
And then we'll take a couple of these juniper picks and help fill in the gaps, bring in another color. And it ties into our entryway arrangement as well as the side table one we just did. Now I'm going to add another one of the house candles as well as this iron snuffer from Amazon and these pine cone candle holders that I got last year. So I took all of the red berries out of the stair garland. I did leave the icicle picks from Hobby Lobby. I figured that this was a good transition for winter as well. I'm going to be adding in that brown satin ribbon that I used for my early Christmas decorating. It'll help tie in the velvet brown pillow covers we have on the couch. And the finishing touch is adding this iced Norfolk wreath.
So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope that you enjoyed it and got some decorating ideas and inspiration for how you can still bring those cozy, warm touches into your winter decorating after Christmas. And if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and ding the notification bell. It will alert you anytime I have a new upload. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.